Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. Today I am going to share with you my current favorites. I do have quite a few favorites this month because I missed out last month and I've been just collecting a few things. I've got some skincare, I've got some luxury items, I've got some makeup as well, which I will timestamp everything in the description section down below so you can just skip ahead to whichever you want to see. And I do have quite a few things to talk about. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with clothing and I do have a few new pieces of clothing into my wardrobe. Firstly is this shirt which I got from Lily Silk. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Lily Silk. So thank you very much. So I don't wear these kind of shirts very often on camera but because we are going back to the office, I am pulling out my shirts and when I got this, I was really so ecstatic because I really love the way it looks, especially with the bigger collar and this brown tr tr trimming. It even came with um, like this kind of like a tie. You know, I will put modeling shots that you can see. This is a silk tie that you can tie around. You can make like a ribbon or just tie it around and make it like a tie. I like it both ways because it's a wider collar so I don't feel like, you know, it's too much tight here. It is a little see-through, you know, right now because I am at home filming, I am not um, going out to the office, but usually when I'm wearing this, I would put like a really white, like cream color camisole. This is called the Willow Silk and the size that I'm wearing is S. I really love Lily Silk. I have been using their items since two Black Fridays ago where I bought a huge load of pillowcases which I will share with you a pillowcase as well. Their silk is so luxurious. When you first receive it, it comes in like this beautiful packaging which let me show you. These are the boxes. They do have a new packaging as well. This white one is more clean and I don't know, I find it very modern with just the word lily silk. But they also have the one which is flower and it's got the pattern, which I really like. So either or, their packaging is really good and it's sturdy. I actually keep some of the boxes for, you know, sending things around. Oh, I love their silk. Their silk is so breathable. And if you're sleeping at night, which, why don't I just pull the pillowcase as well? This pillowcase, look at this color. Oh my gosh. This is their new pillowcase. This is like the traveling pillowcases, which you can use when you go traveling. It even comes under the zip here with a little pouch, right? Where you can roll up the silk pillowcase and bring it along with you for traveling. I actually never thought about it, you know, like to bring my own pillowcases for traveling. But now that I have been sleeping on silk pillowcases, which has been so good for my hair and my skin, which I'll talk about later as well, but my hair and my skin, I, I don't know if I go to a hotel room and the pillowcase is so rough and cottony, you know what I mean? I mean, cotton's great. But once you start sleeping on silk pillowcases, trust me, you will never, never go back. This is the Lily Herb Antibacterial Mint Green Silk Pillowcase. It is for relaxation. This color, oh, look at it, it's so, oh my gosh. It's so relaxing. I sleep on silk pillowcases every single night. I have several of them. My favorite color is this emerald green, but I love this. Isn't it so yummy? It reminds me of some kind of ice cream as well. I also picked up a shirt dress and I got it in this navy blue color. So it's one of those dresses that doesn't have much of a shape and you do need to uh, wear a belt with it if you want to. I mean, you can definitely go and wear this on its own as well. The belt that I was thinking of when I picked this up is my Kelly belt. So I also put a modeling shot and you can see this oh, the mulberry silk look at the shine it's absolutely beautiful and again i picked this because you know going back to work and you know being you know being more formal with my clothing it just seems very appropriate also in this weather in singapore it is so freaking hot that Silk just makes sense. It is breathable, it's light, it's airy, and it's not very high maintenance. Like after I wash it, I'll put it in a wash bag or a cloth bag, put it in, and then when I take it out to dry, I don't put it in a dryer. I just kind of like air dry it. What I'll do is I sort of like pat it, you know, because it's all wrinkled up, right? So I'll pat it and then dry it up. Um, after that, you know, I'll just take a steamer and just lightly steam it. It's so fast. It's so easy. You know, with cotton, sometimes with cotton shirts, it's kind of hard 
to iron it out. But silk is so easy to maintain. So I really love this. Ah, the length is good. So if you're very tall, this looks so good. It makes me look really, really tall as well. Link everything down below. I also do have a coupon code that you can get 15% off your entire order. It is non-commissionable, so it is really just for you. You can use it and take advantage of this discount. And if you buy a lot of things, it's definitely a big savings. So thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion. And let me show you the other favorites of the month. Right, sticking with clothing from silk to cotton, cotton oh my gosh this top from Hermes is a huge favorite as well I just washed it it's all wrinkled up unlike silk you know it can't just but when you wear it I guess it will unwrinkle itself I do put this in the washing machine but I put it in a wash bag and it's on a gentle cycle this is from the latest spring summer collection and they have two colors uh, they have this one which is a uh, navy with red and a lighter blue that's not really navy. It's not like a blue marine. I think that's what it's called. And then they have one which is this beautiful bright orange. I love this so much that I am kind of thinking of getting another one. But you know, they're Hermes tops because it's Hermes, right? It's expensive. Oh, uh, I don't know. We'll see. If any of you buy more than one top from a particular season, let me know. Try not to buy too many because I do want to explore many, many seasons. But this has been a big favorite. I'm going to mention the Chanel Dad Sandals as part of like clothing because it is the only pair of shoes that I have as a favorite this month. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Now I understand why people buy multiples of it. It's so trendy, it's so chunky, it makes me look so cool. I really, really enjoy it. I will be doing a dedicated video talking about all my luxury shoes. I have 14 pairs right now, I have to count again, but I think I have like 13 or 14 pairs. I did toss one recently, my Fendi pair. But yeah, I will be talking about it, you know, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But just briefly in this video, since this is a favorite this month, I love the style. It looks so good. It feels a little heavy in the hands, but when you wear it on your feet, it doesn't feel like that. It's comfortable. The only thing is you do need to break into it a little bit. So this part where the um, kind of like the leather connects to the back part, it did dig into my heel a little bit because it is quite hard uh, when you first get it. Uh, in that video, in that ded dedicated video, I will do close-ups. But yeah, this part here is sort of like curled in towards my heel and it was kind of like poking my heel. But after the first wear, um, when the time I wore it on the second time and by the third time, it didn't hurt anymore. And I'm, I'm saying the word hurt with, you know, just lightly. It's like kind of like, you know, like something's pressing into your heel and every time you walk, it's... Um, pressing a bit harder so it's sort of like a bit of pressure nothing like scrapes nothing like you know when you get blisters none of that it's just pressure at the back but now that I've worn it a few times this part feels so soft already so it does soften really quickly unlike some of the other shoes but oh my gosh I love it so yeah definitely a big favorite currently I'm gonna switch gears and talk about skincare and makeup starting off with skincare and this has been a huge favorite since early January. Or basically when I came back to Singapore and um, being a little bit better with my skincare. This Ultraman like mask. Oh, <laughs> look at it. I did a vlog whereby I showed like a short clip of the, how I use this. Basically, it is um, a red light LED mask. And let me just turn it on. And you have this like controller that you can turn on. And once I turn it on, you see all these lights will light up. So it is for the face. There's some space for the eyes, for the chin, and then a little bit for the up here on your forehead where your hairline is. So, you know, the signs is or, you know, the trend or the fad is that red light therapy is really good for healing, recovery. Uh, it promotes collagen for hair loss as well. It will promote like growth. I don't know if it's true, but what I've been doing is I put this by my bed and every 
maybe two to three times a week. I just put it on my face and I do a session for like, I think it's 10 minutes. And I'll just sit there, I'll turn on a video, maybe one of those true crime videos, and I'll just listen to the storytelling. And I have this on my face. And it's pretty relaxing. So I'll do two rounds. So once it turns off, you know, it'll have a timer to go down. I will turn it on again. And usually by the second time, I can feel a little bit of warmth on my skin. I do find that it has made my skin glowy a little bit. Now, when I first got this, this was sent to me months and months and months ago. Was it a year ago? Oh my gosh, has it been a year? I don't remember now, but I'll link it down below. When it was sent to me, uh, one of the things that it has a feature is that the eye section it doesn't have any red light because you don't want that red light to be shining into your eyes so this side is protected but you do need to like close your eyes throughout the treatment what i found is that even though i shut my eyes i feel like it's still not the most comfortable so what i did was i bought these sun oh oops it came out <laughs> like it's like a little string that you tie i bought these sun tanning um eye goggles and i just wear it over my eye as a covering and then I wear the mask over. The first time wasn't so comfortable but you know I find that it really takes away uh, more of that red light and it makes the experience more comfortable so let me just wear it right now. Uh, it's like this. <laughs> I don't go sun tanning but I realized they use these kind of tanning eye goggles and uh, when you go into sun tanning beds, which I've never gone and you shouldn't be going, I don't think you should because apparently it causes skin cancer. But anyway, on that note, it does help like here. And then I will just wear this over on my head and I'll just lie down. I don't even use the buckle anymore because I'm just putting my head on my pillow, on my <laughs> lily silk pillow. <laughs> And I'm just lying on it and it's so relaxing. So a huge favorite. If any of you um, use this kind of like LED mask, let me know, you know, if you're using for long term, uh, if you've seen changes on your skin. I have started to use my Sisley moisturizer. This is the Sisley Le Integral Anti-Age Moisturizer. And this time I am being a little bit more generous with my application. I love, love this moisturizer. It is freakingly expensive. But I love shea butter on the skin and now that I have been on a huge water kick, this is also a big favorite, this is a Muji water bottle. I have a couple of these in the house. I've been just like walking around the house holding this and just drinking water whenever I can. So a huge favorite, drinking water. But now if I'm, I've complemented it with a richer moisturizer. I don't have anything on my skin except a bit of blush and a lipstick. I don't even have anything for my eyes, nothing for my skin because this glow that you see is all water and moisturizer. I'm I'm so impressed with drinking water. Not not the best, you know, when you need to go and pee so much, but it has been helping with my sleep has been helping with just overall general well-being because I am not a water drinker. Never, never, never have been. But now that I have been more mindful of my intake, it's been so good. And now complementing it with a good moisturizer, I see differences in my skin. My skin is glowing. It's, it's not greasy. Is it greasy right now? <laughs> Maybe because it is towards the end of the day. But yeah, I have been loving this moisturizer. If you are looking for a richer moisturizer, check out Sisley. All right, since I've talked about the water, I'm not gonna mention it again. Let's talk about something for my hair. And just like the mask, you know, I do like it on my hair, but again, I have my usual uh, Kavila hair tonic, which is good for advanced thinning hair. So my hair is behaving okay lately. I have a lot of these baby hairs growing out right now. Um, yeah, I just use this as a treatment. So if you follow me for a while, you know I have this issue with my scalp, especially around my hairline. I have flaky, flaky, um, dandruffy, almost like scaly red patches. And then I get it during the time where I'm very stressed or I don't take care of my body. You know, I'm just not, I'm not taking care of myself. I find that this is very good for calming down those awful times where it's so itchy and the discomfort is pretty unbearable. I use it like a treatment. But I also, before that, was using it to treat like the hair loss. Um, honestly, I don't know if it's going to help like 
grow all my hair back right right here I've never had a lot of hair anyway but I do find that it reduces hair loss like it doesn't make hair grow but I find that my hair is not dropping as much and I do have a lot of little baby hairs coming out right now so I don't know definitely a continuous and just a favorite throughout forever and ever since I've been introduced to it Kavila I will link uh, my link down below because I am distributing it right now only to Singapore and Malaysia unfortunately um, if you want to get it from your other countries I'm sure you can find it on the internet you like just type Kavila hair tonic um, I know they have it in Hong Kong Philippines and all other countries I have a few makeup items and firstly is the lipstick so I know in some countries maybe you're not wearing mask anymore so now you're free to wear like whatever you want but for me because of YouTube and I still wear my makeup even though it's like all over my mask but it's okay I still want to use my makeup because I love makeup so the two lipsticks that I have been in oh, constantly rotating is the Lisa Eldridge's Cinnabar uh, lipstick which is this color that I am wearing it is a oh my gosh it's a beautiful rich deep brown red and it's like blood it's so beautiful I this will go like gorgeously on any skin tone if you're fair it will just be just stunning like it will be the focus if you are um, darker than me it will also be this rich chocolatey lip color love 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 this she has restocked her lipstick so you can check it out on Lisa Eldridge's website the other color that I have been wearing quite often is the Hermes 71 matte orange brulee I wore this in several of my videos and honestly it's kind of similar you know it's like a muted bright orange which is like the other opposite of the cinnabar cinnabar is more red and brown this is more orange orange brown with a hint of red so so stunning this is a limited edition color so um, if you want to get it you should get it now I worn this in multi videos so definitely a huge huge favorite and because it's matte even though I'm wearing my mask, I feel like it's not rubbing off as much even though I'm not wearing any foundation right now when I do, this foundation is the one I have been grabbing because it's so lightweight it glow, makes the skin glow as if I'm not wearing foundation this is the Surat Dew Drop Foundation and I have two colors I have number 3 and number 5 number 3 I can get away with it. It is more peachy. Um, it's very light. It's pretty good match to my skin. But sometimes I feel like I want to have a little bit more, uh, maybe a little closer to my skin tone. Then I would go for number five. Number five is more yellow. So there are sometimes I would just mix it together. This is a beautiful foundation. You just need a couple of drops. Uh, I would use my brush, so maybe like my Marc Jacobs brush or my new Sonia G. Um, this is the Jumbo brush, so nice. And it goes on the skin so beautifully. It's so smooth. It's a light coverage foundation, so it doesn't like totally mask all the imperfections, but it gives this beautiful glow to the skin that I find that as the day wears on, that dewy, you know, like just like the name, the dewiness of the skin just really comes through. If you have oily skin, you will need to powder down unless you love that glowy look. But if you have dry skin, which is like my skin right now, it's getting a bit drier and you use a heavier moisturizer. I do like it when my skin looks a little bit more greasy <laughs> in a way. I don't know, it just feels more youthful and it feels like you know there's lots of things going on my skin it's just like glowy so I do like that dewiness effect that is given me I don't know if you can still purchase this but if you can I really recommend it it is the uh, this is the Chanel 747 Mediterranean uh, limited edition eyeshadow quad this eyeshadow quad is oh my gosh so pretty it looks like an everyday eyeshadow. It's got like four shimmery satin finish shades. But because it's so everyday, and now that most people are just not wearing like a lot, a lot of makeup, this is such a good, easy going eyeshadow. You just 
use any color. Pop it on the lid. You can even use your finger and just rub it on. You know, it's not being the most uh, clean finish, but because it's so light, honestly, you don't need. You just can just use your little finger and just pop it on like this. It just makes the eyes look a little bit more alive, like awake. It doesn't need a lot of fancy blending. So to me, this is the perfect eyeshadow palette if you want that everyday, easy going look. This is unfortunately, I sold out right now and when I purchased it, I wanted a few because I was going to give it away. Oh my gosh, it was so hard to get. <laughs> I do hope, you know, if your store has it, I do recommend that you check it out if you're looking for a new eyeshadow palette. It's really, really pretty. I have to share this perfume because I am obsessed with it. It is the Chanel Number no. 1 Fragrance Mist. This is the new fragrance perfume from Chanel and it's not even like a perfume it is just a light fragrance that doesn't really last but you can just go so much on the skin and it's so it's so delicate and pleasant it actually gives me a bit of the Anik Gutal Petite Sherry vibe but in Chanel's like Chanel's version of the perfume because Petite Sherry is more sweet it's more like young sweet it's beautiful, very floral, beautiful floral. But this is, this is like Chanel's version. So it's got that Chanel-ness to it, which is that camellia, I think it's a camellia smell. It's so, oh my gosh, it's so, so good that I had two. This is uh, one that I've actually gone, it's like two thirds done. I had two samples. I finished an entire one, which is so rare. Because when I get samples, it's like, oh, okay, not so great. Or if I like it, I kind of forget about it. It's not something that I really am drawn to. But this is one that I actually finished an entire sample. I'm going through the second one. And I am really considering buying it. I try not to buy too many perfumes because I, I have so many already. So it's a new launch. So we can wait. We can wait. But if you're looking for a really nice, delicate perfume that is not overpowering, it's for you to enjoy, you know, it's not the one that has a huge projection, something just really pleasant and just soft and sweet, check this out, all right, this is a fragrance mist number one from Chanel. Putting this together with the skincare and makeup and it is nail polish and it is a huge honorable mention and obviously it is a favorite because I got it as a gift. This is from my good friend here, Fashionably Amy. She got me three Hermes nail color, nail care and nail polish. So I have the top coat, keeping it in the box, okay? I have the top coat. I have the, um, which is it? Okay, the base coat as well. Oh, look at this, the base coat. And I also have one nail polish color, which happens to be orange brulee, just like the lipstick. So three nail polishes, she gave it to me for my birthday and wow, they're so good. One coat is so opaque. Now this, I wore it just before, is it the day before Chinese New Year? Yeah, I think it was the day before Chinese New Year. I was cooking and cleaning and all that. It didn't really survive through massive, massive Chinese cooking and washing and cutting and scrubbing and <laughs> obviously it didn't. I had one coat on with the top coat and the base coat. Uh, I would say for three of my fingers, it did really well. But for obviously the index finger, which you know, maybe in cooking, you tend to use your like thumb and index finger a lot more than the other fingers. I don't know, maybe. Um, these two did not survive as much. It got like chips and all. But I can imagine that if you are not... Mm, I'm not using your hands so much. Like you don't wash the plates, you don't cook a lot, you know, you're just using, your hands are just for working and carrying handbags. This nail polish will last like a long, long time. But if you're going heavy duty cooking, maybe you'll need to put two layers of the top coat. But the color, oh my gosh, the color is so good. So a huge favorite and if you're watching Amy, thank you so much. You might have started a new obsession for me with Hermes nail polishes. Ah! Before I share my favorite handbags of the moment, I have to talk about this other thing that Amy gave to me and I just like a few days ago got it. This is, this is the Hermes sushi plate. I have been hunting this online as well as through my essay for a while. 
but n no success. And I received this as my gift for my birthday on top of the lip, I mean, on top of the nail polishes. So, wow, wow, wow. Of course, it's a favorite. I have been wanting this for so long. So what I've been doing is putting it on my dresser now. It's on my table and I have been putting... Okay, this... I, I, I'm all over the place. I apologize. But this pair of earrings is also a big favorite. These are the Michelle Wong... Um, what is this? Onyx earrings. Aren't they so cute? I've worn them a few times already. It's 14k gold. So I put like Michelle's... Um, like dust bag here and I'll put the pop the two earrings on top then I'll keep one space because it's a small sushi plate right? I'll keep one space for my wallet because if you haven't watched our luxury live show uh, with the feng shui you're supposed to take care of your wallet you need to put it in the room you know where it's it feels like the wallet feels love so I've been bringing my wallet into the room and putting it here so yeah I have been using it already definitely a huge huge favorite Finally, let me share the two handbags that I have been really enjoying at the moment. And I think this is, without any surprise, since I just did a video about this bag, is the Chanel Classic Flap in the size small. Gold hardware with caviar leather. Uh, I didn't know that I would like it so much that I have been using it a lot. I'm not going to ooh and ah about this bag anymore. You can watch my video for it. But definitely, oh my gosh, a big favorite. It makes me like slap myself in the face and say, why didn't you just buy it earlier? Why did you wait for two, three price increases then you decided to do it? So anyway, the past is the past. We finally have it in my collection. The other handbag that I have been really enjoying is the YSL camera bag. I have been using this bag as my everyday bag because it is so easy going. It has the back pocket, it has the uh, compartment, I've got my wallet inside. And it's crossbody and it looks fantastic. If you're looking for an easy going camera bag, this is a beautiful, beautiful bag. It comes in so many colors. White, uh, not white, I think it's white, no cream, right? Creamish white. It's got black, of course black is classic. It's got this beautiful like grey which has a hint of purple to it. It's got uh, a brown colour as well. So good. And it's caviar leather. It's that same grained or embossed leather which makes it so, so like tough and hardy. I love the little zip that comes with... I've grown to like this tassel. I think a few years ago when Gucci had a camera style bag, I didn't really like the tassel. I found it a bit annoying. But there's something about this tassel that maybe it's the grain leather and that like Saint Laurent um, embossing at the top here. I don't know. It's actually really nice and I kind of like to hold it like this and close it. It makes the closing and opening pretty easy compared to maybe it was a tiny little zip. I don't know. I really like it. So it gives a bit of like sass to the bag. Not, not that this bag is not sassy enough, but it is with the whole gold and the shiny shininess of it. But yes, I have been really enjoying it. So on the days that I am just going to the gym, you know, or going to the office and I don't feel like bringing any fancy, fancy bag, I just take this because like everything now is small. My handphone comes with a um, a strap right now so I will strap this bag over and I'll strap the phone over as well. I look a little maybe a little not so I don't know what's the word like I'm rushing around so much but it's so convenient. We have covered everything that I've been enjoying lately. If I missed out on anything I'll talk about it in the next favorites video but I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It will really really help me with my channel and I hope you will subscribe as well because I know a lot of people do watch my videos but you're not subscribed. I do make quite a few videos and yeah if you're subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified when my videos go up. Love to have you back on this channel. Before you go, just a little reminder, don't forget to check out Lily Silk. You can use my coupon code for 15% off. They have an array of beautiful silk items. You've got clothing, you've got clothing, you've got pillowcases. If you want to treat yourself to an entire bed sheet, go and do it because now since we're home so much 
sleeping is truly truly the best part of every day like for me it is i just love sleeping on my silk pillowcases so anyway everyone please take care stay safe and i will see you in my next video bye